This is Connie Reeves, and I am so glad that you have decided to tune in tonight for the Get Money, Make Money, Save Money Momentum radio show. We are so glad that you are on the line and listening to us. Just have a conversation about how things are going in our economy, how things are going in your life. Sometimes we will talk about the economy. Sometimes we'll talk about your health and wellness because those things are really, really important important these days. I am an essential service broker, and that means that I have the opportunity to market and distribute some outstanding products and services that can help you in your everyday normal life. This is nothing, you know, uh, out of space type of thing. It's not a scam. It's a simple home business that can help you. I have several co-hosts and guests from time to time, but tonight we want to talk about social media. Did you have any idea that you can take your home business and work it on the Internet and work it through Internet marketing, through social media. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. I have one of my co-hosts who is an essential service broker, but he is also an expert in Internet marketing and social media. Omara Bird, I am so happy that he has teamed up with me so that we can help you understand how you can make some money, save some money, and get some money. So, Omara, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Miss Connie Reeves. How are you doing this evening? I am doing absolutely fabulous, and I am so excited to share this information with our listening audience. I was reading this article in Forbes.com, and it says that it's hard to imagine a life before social media, even though sites like Facebook and Twitter have been around for less than a decade. As businesses look back over that decade, they can easily see how these sites are changing the, the way they do everything. Professionals use these sites to network, interact with customers, and bring team members together. Yet social media has the ability to divide industries with outdated companies falling behind their competitors. Social media can be a distraction, zapping worker productivity throughout the day, but it can also be a way to open up opportunities that would never have existed. It will become clearer that social media is an essential part of doing business today. And that's what we're talking about. I happen to team up with Omara Bird. He is a coach in social media, internet marketing, for your home business, and for your traditional business. So, Omara, how did you get started, and how did you learn how to do all of this? Well, it was a, a very simple process, actually, but before I get into that, I just, I'm, I'm so excited to be on the show, and I just realized when you were speaking, when we were coming on the call, that I have went from being a co-host to the show and today being a featured speaker of the show. So I'm just excited to be a featured speaker and, and humbled to be on the line and be able to be the featured speaker on today's call. And I realized that we might have to renegotiate our contract because I, I don't know. I think featured speakers <laughs> get paid more than co-hosts. I don't know. 
<laughs> I might have to find that out when we go on break in a few minutes. But oh, absolutely, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll talk about it in the green room. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So definitely, um, I, I you know a lot of people talk about social media, and social media is definitely an aspect of internet marketing. But I consider myself to be more geared and focused towards internet marketing, um, mm-hmm. and and marketing itself. But, um, you know, I, I, I was one of those people who got started in Internet marketing because I was one of those people who were looking for something. And I was tired of the consistency of going from job to job because I was one of those people who could never keep a job longer than nine months. Um, you know, I worked from the age mm-hmm. of 14 to, to up to the age of 37 when I semi-retired, and I never worked any one of those jobs that I had from that time frame longer okay. than nine months. So. You know, I became a jack-of-all-trades, master of nothing. But what I learned later on in life was that it was because I had an intra- entrepreneur spirit that it would not allow me to keep continuing to work for individuals who I know wasn't paying me what I was worth. I was looking for something, and the Internet just intrigued me. And quite honestly, I was a dinosaur in terms of the Internet. I didn't even have an email address. Mm-hmm. But I know that if there's a will, there's a way. I'll learn how to do it. I don't want you to do it for me. Show me how to do it so I can learn how to do it to the point where I can teach people how to do it, and then I know that I have it mastered and I can start doing what I need to do to have success online. So Absolutely. it took me it took me some years to get to the point where I actually felt as though I had learned enough information, and I didn't actually go into training other people on it as, uh, you know, something that I – in foresight, looked at and said, I'm going to decide to be a trainer at some point. It okay. just got to the point where I started to have success with it that I wanted to be able to allow other people to have success with it. Mm-hmm. But back to me being this dinosaur, I started to look into the Internet, and I did it by going online and searching for anything I could find on Internet marketing. And, you know, I found some individuals who I began to follow. Some of them individuals were worth following. Some of them weren't worth following. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I really started to get an idea of how this whole Internet thing works. And it really intrigued me. The more I learned, the more I wanted to learn. Yeah. So, um, you know, I began to have success with it once I had found the right people to follow who were training me the right things to do. Because there's a lot of people on the Internet and off the Internet, which a lot of people don't, you know, talk about it, but a lot of people don't want to do things on the Internet because they're scared of being scammed. But we know the truth is that scams didn't start when the Internet did. People was getting mm-hmm. scammed off the Internet. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I went through a period of going through information that wasn't all of that. It wasn't really worth its weight in gold. And, you know, during the course of over a decade, I really began to learn this business. And uh, my first uh, trainer that I actually went to taught me how to create websites. It was a, it was a course called Mini Website Creator. So it taught you how to learn a little bit of HTML and create a website and, you know, go through that process. And me being a jack-of-all-trades, I kind of picked up on most of what I could in Internet marketing from every aspect. When most people in Internet marketing, they have an idea and they pay other people to put it into fruition. Um, for me, I learned every aspect that I could learn, and it cost me a pretty penny. Um, mm-hmm. So I learned how to create websites, and when I learned how to create websites, I realized that creating a website isn't what gets you paid. You got to get people to that website. <laughs> right. So, I came across some other mentors who were probably individuals that most people wouldn't have looked to for mentorship because they were actually from Mexico. It was a husband and wife, um, Carlos and Lupe Garcia. That's their name. Um, and I ran across them through somebody else that I was following who actually had them come and do a training at one of their seminars. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and they sat down and he talks about his story of how he was doing cable work and he came across, you know, this, this product that you could attach to people's houses to get them basically pirated cable. <laughs> and wow. he created a, a website and he created a system to sell this product online and he stumbled across a way to drive tremendous amounts of traffic to his website and uh this guy was at the point where he was making a million a month selling this little gadget that would give people pirated cable Um, and, and eventually he got shut down on that but now because he had learned the ability to drive traffic he then went into doing a diet pill 
you know, this was back when mm-hmm. there was no heavy regulations. So mm-hmm. started selling a diet pill, and and selling that diet pill, he got to the point where he was now making five million a month, and uh, that eventually got shut down. FDA came in, and the company that he was selling these diet pills through, um, they actually shut that company down, and then he went to another product. It just was mm-hmm. a better product. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly what that product is, but he got to the point where he was now making $10 million a month. And he was spending wow. about $4 million a month on uh, advertising, so he was clearing in profit $6 million a month. He decided that him and his wife was going to train on this, um, and now they're making plenty of money. So now when you're making plenty of money like that, your time is more valuable because I can go and make more money on my own with my time than I can teaching you how to do what I'm doing and you're paying me bottom dollar. Mm-hmm. But they were really interested in helping people out, so they ran a course, and, and the course was $997. Uh, and I jumped on it, and, and most people will look at it like $1,000. You spent $1,000 on this training course on how to drive traffic to a website. And a lot of people won't invest in themselves to that extent, but I saw the value in what they were doing, mm-hmm. and I invested in it. And it wasn't just nine ninety seven one time. It was nine hundred ninety seven dollars per month. And I took that course for close to two years, so I invested close to twenty four thousand dollars in the knowledge of being able to drive traffic to a website where you can do whatever you want with that traffic. You could be selling a product. You could be having. You could have a membership program. You could be selling someone else's product. But when you're getting traffic like that in front of whatever you're offering you're going to make more money. I learned how to do it, and in the course of learning how to do it, what happens is you get to the point where you're successful at it, and you turn around and you see a lot of other people struggling because a lot of people want to make money online, but there aren't a lot of people that do. So at the point where you begin to be successful at it enough that you're making money online, um, if you're any type of empathetic leader, you look at other people and you say, man, I want to show people how to do this. So I turned around and decided, you know, I need to teach people how to also be able to do this. But more importantly, it was basically based off of our being, um, you know, essential service brokers that a lot of individuals get into this business. And in the beginning of this business, it's based on who you know. And for me, I didn't know a whole lot of individuals, and my my warm market really wasn't great. You know, I'm in the Uh hood, I'm living in the hood, and you begin to have visions of things much further reaching than the hood. And the people that are in your circle, some of them are still stuck on the corner drinking, you know, Manischewitz. Mm -hmm. So you can't Mm -hmm. bring everybody with you. So for me, you know, it was difficult getting into the essential service broking industry and not being able to have that source of warm market of people that were in a position that they could actually see the value in whatever it is you're offering to go after it and then have the stick to if that's a word, to stay around and actually pursue it all the way through to success. And we're talking about Internet marketing, marketing through the Internet uh so social media falls into that category. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Uh, you said that you started more in Internet marketing than social media. So what, what is the difference? Well, when I started in Internet marketing, social media wasn't even around. So okay. I started in about 2003. Uh, and this is before MySpace even became, you know, the mm-hmm. popular the popular social media site. Um, the Internet was there, and, and Google was there, and, and that's where I actually started with advertising on Google. Um, so a lot of individuals to this day don't realize mm-hmm. that advertising and marketing is selling. But if we go yeah. back and we look at ourselves, and from a common sense perspective, I mean, as a baby, you learn to sell. You sell on getting fed. So you figure mm-hmm. out what you have to do in order to get fed, and for most babies, that's crying. All our lives we're selling. You know, when the point you get to the point where you're out of school and you enter the workforce, you have to go into a job with a resume and sell that job on why they should hire you. Mm-hmm. So that's true. a lot of people don't understand that marketing is an intricate facet of everyday life. Almost everywhere you look, marketing is involved. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's very interesting. Um, and 
what I'm noticing, just like this article is saying, is that more and more businesses are getting into social media. I remember when um, my daughter was in college, when Facebook first came about. And she told me, she said, it was just for us college students to keep up with each other. Now, every company has a Facebook page. And as this article was, is saying, it says that as businesses continue to try to redefine themselves in this new technology-driven world, customers are crucial to those changes. While a CEO may not be required to spend all day retweeting respected colleagues or posting insightful comments on Facebook, it is important that they realize the value of social media in driving decisions. Well, I think that... um certain factors kind of fell into social media becoming so predominant. And I think one of the factors is that individuals really got into this reality TV type of thing where mm-hmm. they wanted to see, you know, the first reality TV show I can remember is uh, It's a Real World on MTV. And this was back in the late 80s that this yes. show came out. Late mm-hmm. 80s, early 90s, if I can recall correctly. But what they found out, you know, as entertainment per people usually do, is that, you know, people were more fascinated with the real stories of individuals than the ones that people had contrived and made up in order to entertain people. And I think that kind of drove social media because that's what happens on social media. You're getting real-life uh, drama, so to speak. So, you know, there's some people who are on social media and they're airing out all of their differences on social media, and some people can't wait to jump on and read about all these differences that they're airing out. And you look at the the, the significant way that social media has impacted big business, like you were saying a few minutes ago. Um, you know, most companies have a Facebook page. Most companies have a hashtag in their commercial. Um, you know, and hashtags are more based on Twitter, but they're also on Facebook as well. But a lot of companies have indoctrinated uh, the social media, the, the social media bonanza that's going on. Because at the end of the day, that's what all of these social media sites are about: is how they can turn these these eyeballs, you know, over a billion on Facebook. How we can turn these eyeballs into currency for us as a business. Yes, and the way our economy is going, it's really good for people to start looking at having a home business and having a plan B, not just having your your job, which is okay, but it's also good to have a part-time business so that you do not get caught up in the next recession that is going to come uh, very, very soon. We are network marketers. We have our home business. We market essential products. Therefore, we are essential service brokers. So what I need for people to understand is there is a way to work your business through Internet marketing, through social media. You know, I've talked about social media, and some may say I'm, I've talked about it in a neutral light, but uh, I love social media myself personally because, again, when you're talking about giving the consumer what they want, the best way to do it is on social media. More people will actually get on social media and listen to folks that they do not know review a company that they do not know Mm -hmm. quicker than they will run out and purchase something because of a commercial they saw on TV. Because they know in that commercial that they saw on TV, the company's intent is to sell them something. Whereas these individuals who may be on social media, they're going to give them the truth because they have no vested interest in telling them a lie about this product or this company or this service. So for anyone as a business, you want to have some traction on social media, on the Internet, period. 
when someone goes online, and, and that's what most people are going on their computer for, is they're searching for something. I don't care what website they go to, they're searching for something. As a business entity, whether it's, um, as you said, a network marketer, direct sales, response marketing, affiliate marketing, I don't care what kind of marketing it is, whatever comes before that word marketing. If you're a marketer, the Internet space and social media is one of the greatest places to be just because uh, it allows you to get your, your message out in front of a whole lot of people in relatively short period of time. You're not waiting mm -hmm. for them to watch the Super Bowl and spend $10 million on an ad for them to see what you're talking about. You literally can get it on the Internet today and get traffic in front of it immediately. And if you would be interested in learning how to become an essential service broker and learning also how to do the business online, please go to www.connyreevesonline.com. That's www.connyreevesonline.com. Omari, give out your information for our listeners. Absolutely. For for those who are interested in being able to go from point A, which is, you know, you may not have any type of uh, experience in doing things online, I do do a training course that takes people from point A to point Z, where they can now have an understanding of how to market online, how to create an online funnel, which is how most people have to market online. Any of the experienced marketers have a funnel. Um, and I show people how to create that funnel going from not knowing anything at all about Internet marketing to at least getting a superficial knowledge of everything they need to know in order to put themselves and become a presence online with their business. So uh, that website is www.leveragingleads.com. Uh, again, leveragingleads.com, L-E-V-E-R-A-G-I-N-G-L-E-A-D-S leveragingleads.com uh, and that course will actually take a person through the process of be becoming uh, an a internet marketer and again as Ms. Connie Reeve said this is for any business this is for those who are network marketers direct sales uh, brick and mortar uh, real estate agents it doesn't matter what your business is if you have something of value to give to the marketplace you can definitely do that online and get so much more traction in terms of customers, sales, and income when you're able to do it online. As an essential service broker, you have been very successful as you have taught me to be successful with taking my essential service business on the Internet through social media, what would you say to our listeners who really are thinking about uh, having a home business but may not want to be out and about doing it? They may work and want to come home and just work part-time. What is a, a call of action that you would give our listeners? Well, when I think about business in, in – it's in terms of any business, what what some people have to come to a realization is that it takes money to make money. Um, and one of the things about me when I started Internet marketing, I invested a lot of money. Um, so some people believe that you can get online and spend a couple of dollars and make a whole lot of dollars. And uh, if you have the knowledge, then you can do so, but more than likely you paid to get that knowledge. Um, but the thing about being an essential service broker is that the startup cost is, is virtually – so insignificant that it's most people see it and they don't believe it because they're like I can't start a billion, a business that is potentially going to put millions of dollars in my account for that low a cost but that is why um network marketing is is what I veered to after already being an internet marketer and seeing the potential of internet marketing when I saw network marketing, it just made so much sense to me. And I saw it at a late stage in my life. I wish I could have saw it when I was 16, 17 years old. But um, 
for any individual who's looking to create financial stability, build a legacy for them and their family, create generational wealth, position themselves to be in a uh, 180 degree difference next year than versus this year financially, I would suggest that you look at uh, becoming an essential service broker because the investment is very minimal, but the return and the potential for the turn is tremendous. There's tremendous amounts of ability to get significant returns. Now, let me be clear about this. This is not, you know, I put a little bit of money in and I'm going to make a whole bunch of money. You're going to put a lot of sweat equity in. You're going to put a lot of effort in. But Mm -hmm. it's going to be well worth the cost and its weight in gold. And getting started is minimal in terms of cost, but you are going to put a lot of work in. But the return on your investment will be tremendous in terms of what you spent and in terms of how much energy you put into building this business. Yes, absolutely. And, again, the website to find out how to become an essential service broker is www.connyreevesonline.com. Online.com. That's www.c-o-n-n-i-e-r-e-e-v as in victory, e-s, online.com. And give your website again, Mr. Bird. Again, the website for learning how to do some Internet marketing is www.leveragingleads.com www.leveraging, leads, L-E-A-D-S, dot com, leveragingleads.com. Well, I thank you so much for joining me tonight on the show, and we thank our listeners for tuning in so we can further tell you about how to get money, make money, and save money. 